This is Alex. You're watching Brilliant. The universe is full of mysteries and magical things. One such fascinating thing is planet Mars. It's icy cold and covered in reddish dust and dirt. Like Earth, it has volcanoes, gullies and flat plains. Over the years, NASA has sent five robotic vehicles called rovers to Mars. The names of the five rovers are Sojourner, Spirit and Opportunity, Curiosity and fifth Mars rover, Perseverance. Perseverance is a car-sized rover landed on Mars on February 18, 2021 as part of NASA's Mars 2020 mission. It is studying a region of Mars called Jezero Crater. It was manufactured by Jet Propulsion Laboratory and launched on 30 July 2020. The duration of this mission is at least one Mars year, which is almost 687 Earth days. Perseverance has five main science objectives. One is geology to study the rocks and landscape at its landing site to reveal the region's history. Two is astrobiology, to determine whether an area is suitable for life and look for signs of ancient life itself. Three is sample catching, to find and collect promising samples of mass rock and soil that would be brought back to earth in the future. Four is to prepare for humans, to test technologies that would help sustain human presence on Mars someday. So basically, this will help NASA plan for the best designs to send human astronauts to explore Mars one day. Perseverance rover will carry seven primary instruments. RIMFAX Radar Imager for Mars Subsurface Experiment It is a ground penetrating radar to provide centimeter scale resolution of the geological structure of the substance. SuperCam It is an instrument that can provide imaging chemical composition analysis and mineralogy. The instrument can detect the presence of organic compounds in rocks from a distance. Mashcam Z It is an advanced camera system with panoramic and stereoscopic imaging capability and the ability to zoom. Mass Environmental Dynamic Analyzer or in short MEDA It is a set of sensors to provide measurements of temperature, wind speed and direction, pressure, relative humidity and dust size and shape. Scanning habitable environments with Raman luminescence for organics and chemicals. Sherlock. It is a spectrometer to provide fine scale imaging and use an UV laser to determine fine scale mineralogy and detect organic compounds. Pixel. Planetary instrument for X-ray lithiochemistry. It is an X-ray fluorescent spectrometer with high resolution camera to determine the fine scale elemental composition of Martian surface materials. Mass Oxygen ISRO experiment MOGSI. It is an exploration technology investigation to provide oxygen from Martian atmospheric carbon dioxide. Now, Perseverance entry, descent and landing is often referred as 7 minutes of terror. Because it takes about 7 minutes to get from the top of the atmosphere of the Mars to ground safely. The spacecraft has to do all of this by itself. There are many things that have to go right to get Perseverance onto the ground safely. Starting about 10 minutes before atmospheric entry, it gets rid of spacecraft part of the rover. It goes screaming into the Martian surface at 20,000 km per hour. And the heat shield is what dissipates all that initial energy through friction. The vehicle will continue flying itself through the atmosphere. When we are going slow enough, we deploy a parachute. It's critical for slowing down the vehicle. So, the heat shield, which has protected the rover all the way through entry, is no longer necessary. We need to get that off so we can actually see the ground. Perseverance will be the first mission to use terrain relative navigation. So, while it's descending on the parachute, it will actually be taking images of the surface of Mars and determine where to go based on what it sees. This is finally like landing with your eyes open. Once Perseverance has figured out where she is, it will jettison the back ship and the parachute and light up the rocket. Those rockets help it steer to safe landing spot that's nearby. That descent stage takes us all the way down to about 20 meters off the ground. 
That's why right, when it starts cycling manually. Once the rover has hit the ground, the descent stage will cut loose from the rover and fly away to its safe distance. Surviving that seven minutes is really just the beginning of pursuit. It is the first image to be sent to the Earth. These are the images during the descent. As of now, Perseverance has completed 31 Sol on Mars. Sol is the unit for time on Mars. One Sol is 24 hours, 39 minutes and 35 seconds long. This week, it took about 119 new images, making a total of 11,183 images. These are few samples of images Perseverance has sent with love. This is the latest image. And this is the typical report catching strategy. 